Boy, do we have an exciting show for you this week. I'm here with Adam Fernley, nice little smallmouth, and we're going to be fishing the Grand River with kayaks. The kayaks are very comfortable. Well, for the last 10 years, I've been operating Heritage River Canoe and Kayak Company. See the way the hook is sticking out? Right here in Brantford, and we've been offering trips on the Grand River. I love those beautiful models that are common on smallmouth bass. Right from Lake Bellwood right down to Lake Erie. There are hundreds of bass this size in the Grand River. It's been an exciting 10 years. The whole thing floats, which is kind of nice. So if you were to drop it over the side, even though I've got a lanyard, it would float on the surface. And uh, we've enjoyed putting thousands of people on the river and they've had safe and enjoyable trips. Canadian Sport Fishing is brought to you by Rapala Premium Fishing Gear, crafted from experience. Yamaha, on the water. This is my Yamaha. What kind of Yamaha are you? Dickies, a legend in work since 1922. Lucky Strike, more fish fight with a Lucky Strike. You know, I can't imagine being on a family trip, working with Adam, you know, where you actually pitch a tent and you fish for the weekend. I mean, what a way, especially if you live in southern Ontario and you're close to the Great Lakes, like in the GTA. Even if you live in an apartment and you don't have room for a boat, you can come here and uh, rent the canoes or the kayaks for the weekend or, you know, three, four days and uh, drift all the different sections. It's so beautiful, and the fish are everywhere. These nice smallmouth, chunky smallmouth. They're so plentiful that you can catch them all day long. There's my crayfish, probably tore off, but the fish won't be hurt. I'm taking my time here. Okay, I'm on the hook, there we go. Nice little smallmouth, gonna keep them in the water see them take off. They're such beautiful fish. Even though I don't have my sunglasses on, I can see the fish flashing. So the water's pretty clear. It's actually a very nice color. You know, it's amazing if you think that the lower sections of the Grand have great smallmouth bass fishing, pike, even walleye. Adam was telling me that literally off the dock of his home, a walleye as large as 11 pounds was caught by a friend of his. So there's some pretty large walleye. I thought today for fun that we just concentrate on the smallmouth bass. You can see the way he's got that crayfish hook just lightly. Not a nice chunky little smallmouth. There he goes. So it's an amazing fishery. And in the late fall in October, and then right through the winter months, the steelhead ran up, ran up the Grand River. Years ago, I did a show in Caledonia. And from being on the river with Adam in the spring, just missed one. Lots of steelhead come all the way through this section because I saw the spawning beds. Come on, fish. You know, I could do this all day. I know I should be looking for larger smallmouth, but this is so much fun. When you're getting, you know, three quarters of a pound, one pound smallmouth, just casting small crayfish imitations, fishing out of a kayak. I mean, what more do you want? This is probably my 15th fish. Bringing it in slowly. I don't know if these smallmouths would hit top water, but I got a feeling in the evening they probably would. Little poppers and so on. Chunky fish, very healthy fish. This is like a smallmouth catching machine. So the nice thing about smallmouth is that they're schooling fish. So obviously, you know, I've got a school of them here. Now, one thing I've been doing with this kayak, I'm kind of spoiled because the kayak is equipped with a sonar. It's got a 383C hummingbird. And that's the unit that you see right here. And I've been watching it the whole time. And even though the Grand River 
for the most part this section is shallow it's you know less than two feet right here it's about four to five feet so when you get in water that's a little bit deeper that's where the fish are holding and feeding another pickup and got him on and if I wanted to when I'm fishing larger water I can actually exchange the head of that unit from a 383 to a 787 which has a GPS in it but of course here on the Grand I don't really don't need a GPS because I know where I am and uh, I really don't even need a hydrographic chart of the river See if I can hold them up there. Hooked very nicely. I like it when the hooks are just in the roof of the mouth so that the fish can't get off. Dickies, sport fishing sweepstakes. Oh, that's crazy. It, I thought I lost it. It came towards me and the line went slack and then it took off running about 100 yards out and it, there was a stick out in the water and it wrapped around that and we weighed it on the scale. It weighed 59 pounds that night. Took a lot of pictures and it's pretty much how it went. I was using a Rapala Magnum on a 25 pound test. We'd love to hear your fishing story. Go to our website and enter the Dickey Sport Fishing Sweepstakes. It's free and you could win some great prizes.